<laughs> What's up? Howdy, y'all. Howdy, partners. What's poppin'? Hello. <laughs> I'm on my way to sleep at high Gabuk for Lou of Gabuk for sleep. <laughs> Aw, thank you so much, Pa. I appreciate that. That's really nice of you. Thank you for your 23 months. And I hope you have a really good sleep. I really appreciate that. Polly, hi. Long time no see. <laughs> just kidding. We were just a meme stream. <laughs> and Austin, hello, if you're still here. Are you announcing winter? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I'll see myself out. I love it. Aria said hi to you. Oh my goodness. Tell Aria hello. I love that. And Snow, I hope you're doing well. I know you have to go to bed soon too. Also long time no see. Ho ho ho. But hello, I hope everyone's doing well. Oh, oh my god. That just made my whole day. <laughs> Cute. A cute little Arya. Oh my goodness, I love it. Thank you, Pa. The tens of minutes. I know. How how did we go on so long without seeing each other? It's been too long. It's been too long. I hope everyone's doing well, though. I hope everyone's had a good week. I haven't been live in over a week, for sure. So. I hope everyone's been doing well. I hope everyone's weekend has been good. I guess it's nearing the end of the weekend now. She has a fever today. The family has been sick the past few days. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. Definitely stuff going around. I think that time of year, when, you know, weather changes, people are starting to get the flu and colds and stuff like that. I'm sorry to hear that. That's rough. And Snow, you're you're sick too, right? Or you're feeling sicky. That's not fun. I'm so sorry. I I have such a poor immune system. I already got my <laughs> my like, you know, cold and flu medication preemptively to prepare for this winter season. Every every winter season I get I get sick every year without fail. So I'm fully expecting that to happen within the next couple months. You're doing great, Tori. Hi, Anton. Long time no see, Anton. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. I guess it's it's daytime for you. I think. In the future. I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. I hope life's going well. You're being brave. I'm so proud of you, Snow. You are so brave. You are so brave. Feeling sick is never fun, though. I'm sorry to anyone feeling sick. Discord, hello? Oh, that was my own going live. <laughs> Notification, of course it was. Why wouldn't it be? Life is awesome. Oh, I love that energy. I'm so glad to hear. I'm so glad to hear. That's awesome. Going into summer here in Australia. Gosh, it always... It always blows my mind. South Hemisphere, North Hemisphere. It's like we're living two different lives right now. It's so crazy. And you're getting into your summer. That's just like, that's just like a friend to the stream. Malena, who's in Argentina and who's also going into summer soon. Meanwhile, it's backwards for us. So interesting. So funny how that works. I know too many hemispheres. One hemisphere, too many. We just need one. <laughs> uh, I know the earth doesn't work like that. But I know it's so crazy to think about how like, you know, people in the world are entering summer. And here we are entering the cold season. Here in Alaska, there's only summer and winter. <gasps> oh my goodness, are you in Al You're in Alaska, that is so cool. I feel like Alaska would be a really cool place to live. That's really neat. It's like one or the other. <laughs> and you have um, half the day, if I'm not mistaken, is really... Not half the day, sorry. Half the year is just really, really sunny. And half the year is pretty much entirely dark, right? For the most part. Like, sun never fully sets for half the year and vice versa. Alaskan native born and bred. That is so cool. I've heard Alaska is beautiful. Three hours of daylight. Wow. 
I'm, I'm sure when you grow up like that, you definitely get used to it, but I feel like for the average person going into that, you would get really, really bad seasonal affective disorder. I would not be surprised if there's some sort of like, you know, if there's a some sort of study affiliated with that that show like, you know, a spike of depression <laughs> in, in those months. That's a lot of lack of sunlight. Oh my goodness. Power to you. Power to you. Alaska would be cool to see though. It'd be cool to visit. This music's so cute. Turn it up a bit. I like this playlist. Oh, this is Undertale. I really enjoyed searching up random like video game lo-fi playlists. Very nice. Australia Zoo over the weekend? Oh, that sounds fun. That sounds fun. I hope you had a good time. Did you see some roos? Some kangaroos? And all the Australian things? That's really fun though. A zoo's a seeing I haven't been to a zoo in so long. It's cute to see all the animals. I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Really, really tiring week working a lot right now to kind of make up for all the money I spent traveling in October. Um, so I just finished a six day work week. And it was tiring. I did not like it. I did not like it. I have, uh, I had today off and then I have tomorrow off, which I'm happy about. I'm doing well though. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing well too, other than feeling sick. I hope everyone here is doing well. Mm, studies show that mental disorders are due to lack of sunlight. 24 hour darkness for three to four months of the year. Wow. I can't even imagine. Where I live, um, it's pretty dark too, but not, not like that. Not to that extent where, you know, it's, you know, the sun literally doesn't really come out for a certain period of the year. But during the winter months, sun will set at like 4.35 p.m. And then the days are so gloomy. So I can't imagine actually being in Alaska. That would be crazy because it's like that on crack. So interesting. Crocodiles? You got to see all the crocs? Mental illness is canceled for the other side of the year. <laughs> it's like we don't make the rules. Today and tomorrow? Oh, really, Snow? Oh, I'm so happy for you. Enjoy your days off. <gasps> Maddie, oh my goodness. What's the cool thing? Some of you know. Some of you know. Um, for those of you who were here last stream, and we talked about it, and it was in the works, and if you're thinking it's that thing, it is that thing. But now it's finalized. Now it's finalized. <clears throat> so some of you may know. But, uh... I'm feeling brave. I'm going forward with it. You know, if you know, you know. So I guess for those of you who, who know, it's not that exciting because, because, uh, you know, you've already heard of it, but not merch, not merch. Merch would be cool though. I, I know, um, you can really do merch at any level, but I feel like at the size I'm at, I don't know if it'd be quite worth it for me to release merch, even though I, I know some of you would probably be interested in it. Um, I don't know. I feel like I would want to associate merch with like a big milestone, like if I maybe hit 5,000 followers or, you know, 10,000 followers. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, I'd be lying though if I said I haven't kind of like, you know, dabbled with some merch designs, but with the intent of it not being released for like a few years, probably. <laughs> Uh, my mind is always just, you know, I'm always trying to do so many things at once, but it's not merch. It's not merch. It's something definitely a bit more casual. It's a stream event, if you will. OnlyFans reveal. <laughs> Can you imagine the way look, you guys, I have, um, I have a funny command. If someone does exclamation point OF, I don't think I've ever put it in chat, but I think it's pretty funny. I'm trying. <laughs> We'll see if it still works. I made that so long ago. <laughs> I'm such a little fucking troll under a bridge. Oh my god. 
It's free to make? That's true, that's true. <laughs> isn't that good? <laughs> oh, isn't that good? No, I will never have that. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong for it, you know? Uh, but yeah, not for me. Subathon? No, not a subathon, but... Not a subathon, but... It is in the realm of stream events. I will pull it up here in just a moment. Let me get it set up. Let me get it set up here. Oh, <gasps> Maddie, do you have merch? I know a cool streamer, Maddie's son, who's got some pretty cute ass merch. Merch would be cool though. Merch would be cool. I've had some thoughts about if I were to do merch, when and how I would want to go about it. You love the lighting? Thank you. I'm happy with it. I really, you know, I used to like my old just chatting scene I used to have with a DSLR, but I've had some issues with my camera and like my dummy battery I was using. And it's probably a relatively easy fix, but I've just been kind of lazy um, taking the time to do it. So back on lower quality website, uh, website, my brain, sorry, I had a beer. Um, <laughs> my head gets fuzzy from one beer. Um, what was I saying? Lower quality, like just chatting webcam scene. So now I try to, you know, make some cool lighting to make up for. <laughs> uh, 24 hour daylight. Oh, that's pretty cool though. 24 hour daylight. I, I imagine it would be hard to sleep though without the sun fully setting. Ah, uh, yes, crack. <laughs> Hi, Ace. I'm um, sorry, I just don't want to miss anything in chat. Still very exciting. I don't know how many people were there when I was talking about it, so it's gonna be a surprise for most of you, I think. Ty, I'm doing well. How are you doing? Some snow their way. Honestly, Alaska gets too much of it all. I, I imagine. I, I bet. Hi, Jingle. Really? Oh, that really means a lot, Maddie. Thank you. I do like this scene, I really do. I miss the DSLR scene I had, it looked so professional to me, but hopefully one day I'll take the time to troubleshoot whatever the issue was with my camera and, and power adapter situation and I'll, I can get it working again. Okay, so... <clears throat> I think I'm gonna announce the thing. No one think it's like a huge deal, it's nothing really that big, but for me it's really exciting. I'm really excited. Thank you, Maddie. I appreciate that. Oh, that means so much coming coming from you. Like your setup and your background when you stream is like truly goals. I love the whole like gaming office setup you have. It's so nice. My chat box is frozen on Streamlabs. Weird. Don't like that. I'm just gonna have to look at um Twitch, I guess, if I want to keep up with chat. Okay, are you guys ready? So some of you know if you were here last stream uh, but yeah I'm really excited I've sort of thought about this in the past but I I don't know I don't know if I was quite up for it in the past and I've been thinking about it and now I'm gonna go forward with it and I'm really excited are you guys ready <laughs> and thank you so much thank you for that follow I really appreciate that Eric announcement time <laughs> okay here goes nothing <laughs> it might not seem like a huge deal, but it's been a long time since I've had, you know, a proper stream event and I've never done anything remotely close to this or to this level. Um, so I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm doing a 24 hour stream. I will be live for 24 hours <laughs> and it will be all Zelda. 24 hours of Zelda. Zelda and more Zelda. Um, and I'm gonna try to get close to my 100% grind. Let's freaking go! So, some of you have seen this mock-up I made. It's pretty much the same. I just had to go over some details and figure out a date and time. Um, so it's gonna be that first weekend of December. It's gonna be Saturday morning going into Sunday morning. And I will be live on Twitch. For 24 hours straight. 
I'm gonna try my best to not sleep, but if it happens, it happens. <laughs> 24 hour stream. It will be a challenge for sure. The longest I've done is like 14 and a half, um, which is pretty impressive. Um, it will be it will be tough, but it'll be good. I'll probably do it once and never again. Sleep stream. So yeah, it's gonna be Saturday, December 2nd. It's gonna start bright and early, 7 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. Eastern. So most of the stream will be throughout the whole day. And the final stretch will be an overnight portion. But... Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. I I'll read everything to you guys, if you're curious. I know you can all read yourselves. But... <clears throat> Since the game released in May, Victoria has put hundreds of hours working towards the ambitious goal of achieving true 100% completion. With this stream, she hopes to get close to the finish line. <laughs> reading. We love reading. Ambitious. I was like, listen, I gotta gas myself up a bit. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke out of it. I was gonna say ambitious and then in, in brackets like slightly questionable or slightly crazy goal <laughs> because who in their right mind wants 100% a game this big I do it's fun but no oh god no it would be over 24 hours if that's what I were doing no it's gonna be 24 hours and that's the cutoff um so I don't think I will get to the end of it but I imagine it will get us pretty close Roth hi uh, I think this this will get us pretty close to the end because I'm not streaming much these days so if I have a full 24 hours grinding um, then yeah we'll be good so what exactly does a true 100% safe island entail most of you know this but if you don't we'll go over the we'll go over it if anyone cares um, so yeah, after you beat the game's main story, a completion marker will appear on the map screen. You guys know, you beat Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, main story. You get a 100% tracker on your map, right? So this does not track full game completion, however, it's only tracking the map's completion, which includes named lo locations and Korok seats. In fact, it doesn't even scratch the surface when it comes to additional tasks that can be completed that aren't counted by the map percentage. A true 100% save file includes... You don't know? Okay. Everyone who hasn't played this game or not huge on Nintendo or Zelda, listen up. This game is massive. So this is everything you have to do for true 100% in this game. 23 main quests, 31 shrine quests, 60 side adventures, 139 side quests, 18 memories, 152 shrines and open their treasure chests, Activate 120 Light Roots, collect 20 Sage's Will, 509 Hyrule Compendium Pictures, collect 1,000 Korok Seeds, and receive Hestu's Gift. <laughs> Secure 82 Addison Signs, obtain 31 Old Maps, learn 222 Recipes. Okay, that seems like a lot, right? That's a lot? But wait, there's more. Obtain 29 in-game paraglider fabrics. So I put a disclaimer here. I um, also did the same for Breath of the Wild 100%. I didn't do amiibo stuff because it's not base game. I said there are 53 obtainable fabrics in total if you factor in the 24 that are amiibo exclusive. I'm not including these as they're not part of the base game and require external purchase. Um, so yeah. 24 amiibos would be expensive, but I do have three amiibos now. I have the Tears of the Kingdom ones. So, so yeah. There's more. Oh. <laughs> Collect all 147 bubble gems and enter every single cave entrance. When I was making this, this is one of the reasons it took me a long time to announce this. I had to fact check and make sure I had all my numbers right. Each of Hyrule's 147 caves is home to a bubble frog, but it's required to visit not just every single cave, but every single cave entrance. See, I didn't know this for the longest time. So these count for map completion. Example, there's a spot in Gerudo Desert with over 10 sinkholes that lead into a cave. You have to enter all of these individually to count towards your map completion. 
So there's almost 150 caves, but some of them have various entrances and you have to activate all of those for it to get the location on your map, which is crazy. Um, 12 auto build schema stones, 34 auto build Yiga schematics in the depths, fully upgraded energy cell. This is going to be one of the biggest grinds. This is a huge jump from Breath of the Wild, which was I think 74. So defeat 249 overworld bosses to obtain the six monster medals. So that's 69 Hinox, 87 Stone Talus, 4 Malduga, 35 Flux Constructs, 40 Frogs, and 14 Gleox. <laughs> Obtain 100% map completion, which is the 100% tracker. So that's every named location. Collecting all 1000 Korok seeds. And that part will probably be the very last thing we do in this game because it happened with Breath of the Wild. I think it happens in everyone's 100% runs. There are always going to be like one or two or three obscure locations in the most random spot that you have to just track down somehow in the end. So I imagine that's going to be the very end of this. Um, not this stream, but 100% getting all my final locations. And it will probably be an annoying amount of cross-referencing, but that's a future problem. Obtain 11 pieces of horse equipment. Activate 30 Zonai dispensers and defeat 12 temple bosses in the depths. So that is true 100% completion. It's a lot of stuff. Okay, so this is the schedule. Flexible and subject to change. Um, I gave myself about an hour and a half to chat, you know, get ready with me. Probably start the stream doing some makeup and getting ready for the stream, you know. And then I'll probably step away, have some lunch. Good luck with it, thank you. I think it will be fun. 24 hours of Zelda. Makeup stream, I was thinking about it. I was like, I should probably just get ready before the stream. But then I really thought about it and the fact that I'll have to be live for 24 hours. So any amount of time I can use up live is probably in my best interest. <laughs> so my plan is basically just to wake up and shower and go live right away and then get ready on stream. <laughs> Steph, were you listening? Yeah. See, the funny thing is when Breath of the Wild came out, and uh, I 100% 100 of Breath of the Wild, I thought that was crazy. I was like, I will never play a game this big in my life. Um, and then this game came out, and it's easily like triple the amount of content as Breath of the Wild. Not even including the map itself, but the tasks you can do. Everything was just... It's Breath of the Wild on crack. Um, yeah, it's hundreds and hundreds of hours of content. Okay, so the way I time block this, I, I mulled over how I want to do this, and I think this is going to make the most sense. So, <clears throat> about five hours is going to be dedicated, I think, to general surface map. I was thinking of time blocking smaller, more specific things like Koroks, shrines, yada yada yada, but the map is so condensed with so many things everywhere. I just don't really know how that would work out. Because if I was trying to focus on Koroks, you know how many caves and shrines I would just happen to run by? So I'm, it would be counterproductive to avoid them, if that makes sense. Everything is just so compact. Um, so I think actually just dividing it by general tasks makes the most sense for the most part. Can we remove the breaks? Oh god, <laughs> can you imagine? No, nah, no, nah. I'll have to do breaks. 24 hours straight of just sitting here gaming would be way too much even just stepping away to to you know take a break from looking at the screen will be will be a must that would be crazy i'm sure some streamers out there have done it <laughs> but yeah so that's my plan about five hours for surface map because i have a lot to do on the surface map that's pretty much most of the 100 grinding all the caves most majority of the koroks most of the shrines you guys get it um, two and a half hours for sky map. I don't have a lot of content left in the sky. I'm pretty much through the sky for the most part. I have one labyrinth left in the sky. Pretty much one archipelago. Um, I have to go over the great sky island quickly um, to just kind of get some last minute things. And then some Gleok fights and construct fights. So I, I think giving myself two and a half hours for sky is kind of... You know, I think that's more than enough time. Then break, 
I gave myself two breaks throughout that are about 45 minutes. I think that's a good enough amount of time to step away and just chill. Eat some food. But this is all flexible. Like, whatever happens, happens, you know? You will tune in. Well, the nice thing is no one has to rush to try to, like, tune in or catch it. Like, I will be live for 24 hours. If you've got to go work, sleep, go about your day, you could probably still tune in and I would still be live. <laughs> like, it will be so long that people can easily pop in and out as they please, you know? <laughs> like, it's... 24-hour streams are wild. I've watched a lot of streamers do it, and it's like you go to bed <laughs> watching their stream, and you can wake up the next day, go about your entire day, go to work, and then they're still alive. So I will I will be on Twitch. <laughs> Canceling your plans. Eye health, yeah. 24 hours just sitting here gaming would be a lot. Already booked it off work. Saturday the 2nd. Oh, Chrome. Yep, anyone just tuning in? This is going to be Saturday, December 2nd into Sunday. It's going to start at 10 a.m. Eastern and end at Sunday, 10 a.m. <laughs> so yeah, archery minigame again. Oh, God. I might have to do everything but that. <laughs> Shoot, the way there probably is. I will try my best. <laughs> Yeah, Steph, it's crazy. Tears of the Kingdom easily is like the biggest game I, I'm aware of. I know there's some massive games out there that aren't from Nintendo, but the amount of quests and overworld bosses and collectibles is just crazy. It's, it's, there's a lot of stuff. And did you say, um, I want to see, I feel like I missed chat. Are you actually off that entire weekend, Snow? <gasps> I love that. I was going to do it in the middle of the week, but I, I thought about it. I was like, that's not really in anyone's best interest because people have their routines over the week, you know? Most people tend to be off over weekends, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh, crow. Oh my goodness. So sweet. Will not allow my manager to change the rotation. <laughs> yep. So this is for sure when it's going to be. Oh, you got a job. Oh, let's go. That's so exciting. Started Friday. Oh, I hope I hope you're settling in well. Thank you, Anton. I'm excited. Trixie, hi. Um, but yeah, this is this is the general schedule breakdown, but I'm not going to hold myself to this. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. Based on my current progress, I'm going to give myself five hours for map, general surface map. And we definitely won't get to the end of 100% by the end of this stream, but I hope to get close. I hope to get pretty close. I imagine we should be able to get a little, most stuff done. I think so. And then two and a half hours for sky map. I, I think we can easily finish the sky. Depths map, four hours, because I do have a lot in the depths, but not as much as the surface. It'll pretty much just be me on a hover bike, going from like a Yiga camp to overworld boss to Yiga camp to overworld boss. We have all the light routes done, so everything's illuminated. Um, depths, if I'm focused, I think could be, you know, could be pretty good. Oh, Snow, thank you. I hope you have a good sleep. Thank you for hanging out. There is a tracker for completion in the game, but um, kind of what I was going over here, it doesn't, it doesn't count most things. Um, so it's what the game considers 100%, which is finding 1,000 of these little guys and getting every named location on the map. So you you go to an area and it like pops up on your screen, um, and it's now like a found location that's saved in your game. So that's what the game considers 100%. The 1,000 Koroks and and the the map locations. It I don't think 100% includes like everything else. It the 100% tracker doesn't include overworld bosses, any 147 bubble gems, paraglider fabric, zoni dispensers. Um, what the heck was that? Twinkly, hmm. Did you guys see that? Why did Twinkly Hmm just pop up? Oh, what the heck? Oh, it's... Been... <laughs> That's so funny. It's because this I was using this template for like old meme, meme stuff. 
<laughs> oh my god, ignore that. That's funny. Ah, oh god. No, so for 100%, for what the map considers 100%, I'm currently at about 70%. And the Koroks make up majority of that. I'm pretty sure the Koroks make up 70 something or 80 something percent. I don't fully know how the 100% tracker um, works, but it doesn't include all of this stuff. Um, but yeah. Then I'll, I'll read this quickly. I also have a little disclaimer about, you know, self-care and stuff. But I know a lot of people have a pretty strong stance on it doesn't count as a 24 hour stream if you sleep. Um, so I just wanted to put a quick disclaimer out there. I don't think this will be an issue in our community because I feel like we're all very like kind and understanding and you know. I don't think I, I don't think anyone's gonna be too pressed about me going away and sleeping. But I did make a, a little disclaimer. I'm gonna riot for sure. I made a little disclaimer. For my first 24 hour stream, it's important to me to practice self care, be mindful of my limits, and listen to my body. Full disclaimer that I will happily disrupt the schedule to step away for frequent breaks and or naps if I feel like I need it. I'd rather have an enjoyable experience up until the end as opposed to feeling miserable from exhaustion in the final stretch. See you there. So yeah, I'm... Uh, I, I think trying to keep myself up for 24 hours just sounds miserable um especially for someone who like you know hasn't hasn't done a long stream like that so i'm gonna be very chill with myself i'm gonna try going into it you know telling myself it's okay to take breaks and stuff so we'll see what happens like if i start to get really tired close to the end i'll step away for a bit um or when I step away from my long breaks and I feel like I, I need to go away for longer and cut into the gameplay a bit, I'll definitely do that. So yeah, it will be fun. <laughs> the time to the end, oh god. Chat care over self-care. Um, but yeah, that's my, that's my plan. And then from there, because the side quests are a grind in this game, so I'm gonna dedicate five hours Overnight to side quests and side adventures. I will probably won't even scratch the surface because They're very time-consuming, but hopefully we can make a dent um, And then yeah second long break Kind of close to the end there and Then four hours dedicated towards armor upgrade grinding. So basically just running around the map <laughs> Looking at what materials I need and just farming things So yeah Again, that won't be enough time for all my armor upgrades, but I like how everything is sort of time blocked and split up right now. It gives us a bit of time with everything. Did you name the event? Nah, just 24 hours stream. <laughs> just 24 hours stream. But you guys saw it here first. After the stream, I'll um, I'll post these on my socials and make it a formal event in the Discord and whatnot. So yeah, it'll be fun. I'm excited. I'm very excited. I think it will be good. I don't know how many people are going to show up, but I've never been live that long, so I imagine by the end of it, we might have a bit more traffic than usual. I think that's usually how these kinds of stream events work. It's just over time, more people are going to be raiding in, especially when you're live for so long, just more opportunities for people to tune in. Um, so yeah, it could be a cool opportunity to make some new friends, you know? Maybe bring some new Zelda fans to the channel. But yeah, as I've said, I love this game so much. I love everything about it, and I've enjoyed every minute I've spent with it. But um, I do have so many games that I, I am looking forward to playing in my backlog. So I think this would be... This will be good for kind of getting move on things, you know? That's my plan. My first ever 24-hour stream. And we'll see how it goes. Likely my only 24 hour stream, because that's hard. <laughs> that is very hard. Awesome, I'm excited. I'm very excited. And I know people say oh, for 24 hours it's fun to switch up the games you're playing, do community games and stuff, which I fully agree with. But the main reason I want to do a 24 hour stream is to grind. Is to try to get close to the end. 
Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it just for the sake of doing it. It's because I... This game is massive. And I... I have so much to get done. So that's the main reason I'm doing it. <laughs> Not for the sake of having a 24-hour stream, but... To pick up the pace on the game a bit. <laughs> You'll have a blast. I'm really excited. I think it will be a fun challenge for myself. I do think I'm going to try to stay up as much as I can. But again, like I specified here... If I start to get so exhausted that I start feeling sick and just miserable, um, then I'll, I'll step away and power nap just so it doesn't feel like such a, a struggle getting to the end. Just like an all-nighter. Yeah, I was talking about this when I casually announced this last stream. Um, I remember in my fourth year... I remember there was one busy time of the school year in particular where I didn't sleep. It was like I I was up for like 27, 28 hours. Just doing all nights, finish, like all nighters, finishing essays, and then you have to go in for like a full day of classes and midterms the next day. And I'm used, to, I, I think the overnight portion won't be too bad actually. Um, because I do a lot of night shifts and I'm just a night owl. It's just going to be staying up and... Staying up for any amount of time, <laughs> close to 24 hours, is not easy at all. And I think just streaming also is going to add that whole other le like layer. Because streaming is very mentally exhausting, right? Like you're staring at a screen, you're reading chat, you're sort of on, if you will. And it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot, but I'm just very excited mainly. Yeah, I've I've read a lot of things from people who um read a lot of things from people who've done 24-hour streams and what they found works for them, what to avoid, things like that. But we'll we'll see what happens. I've heard coffee is good for the the beginning um and then just stop drinking it at one point other otherwise most people say you end up crashing close to the end. Um, so I feel like I might drink some coffee for the first few hours and then stick with a bunch of water after that. Um, that's sort of my plan. Hmm, so weird. My chat box is being really funky right now. Which I don't like. So... I kind of want to play the fruit game, you guys. I don't know how you say it, Suka? I call it Suka game, but I feel like I've seen people say Suika. I've been really into this, the fruit game. I kind of want to play it. Testing chat box. I, it works on my browser, but my actual Streamlabs program is completely frozen, which is not ideal. So I have to keep, I have to keep my Twitch open on a tab, which is kind of annoying. I could close the program, but then it's going to completely reboot stream, which sucks. This music's intense. <laughs> um, I'm going to play the fruit game, you guys. If you haven't played this game, it's just very addicting. That's all I can say about it. Whee! You just have to try to get a watermelon and um, a good high score. <laughs> Hopefully the music levels are good. I think my high score is... Um, I don't think it actually saves on the site because I don't think you can make an account or anything. But my high score I think I ever got was like... 2600-ish. It's 2600-something. Not bad. I don't play it on the Switch, no. I do know it's on the Switch, but I'm fine with the browser one. I'm not sure if there's really much of a difference other than, like, aesthetics, really. I could be wrong about that. Yeah, no. I just kind of like playing the browser one. Already not a great start, but that's okay. We're warming up. Trying to find our rhythm. Do 
I almost feel like the this one is probably easier than the Switch one because you have more room. And when I've seen people play the Switch one, it's more condensed, I guess. But also, this is more narrow. The Switch thing is a... The bucket or bin or whatever you drop your fruits into is a bit wider, but also shorter. I imagine it's similar difficulty levels. I do know the Switch had cute Halloween themes and stuff like that, though. Um, and then we'll probably switch to Zelda eventually, but I'll do a bit of this. Or maybe we'll do this all stream. We'll see what happens. Whee! But yeah, I'm really excited. It's funny though, because I've considered... I've, I don't know if I would even say considered. I've entertained the idea of a 24-hour stream in the past. And every time, I immediately brush it off. And I always tell myself that's just crazy. I don't think I could ever do that. And then, I don't know, sometimes I just get an idea in my head. And then I suddenly think of it in a completely new light. And then I'm just determined on what I want to do. Something, I'll just make it happen. Like, I, I just started thinking about how much... I think now that I'm getting in the later stages of my Tears of the Kingdom grinding, I've just had a lot of fun with it. Like, I really like the grindy parts of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom and, like, the nitty-gritty and actively using my spreadsheets and keeping track of things for my armor and stuff. And I just thought about how satisfying it would be if I had a 24-hour period just full-on grinding and to see how close I would get to the end. And then, and then the rest is history. I just kind of started making my graphics. And that, in my mind, finalized it. And yeah. <gasps> Mally! Oh my goodness, hi! I'm doing so good. I hope you're having a good night. How are you doing? Ah, thank you, Aeton. And thank you for the support and the nice words and stuff. I hope you have a good lunch and a good rest of your day. Alina, it's so good to see you. I hope you're having such a beautiful day. It's so good to see you. I hope you've been amazing. Oh my goodness. I'm playing a silly fruit game, but it's so fun. I'm not really doing too good right now, but that's okay. I'm just vibing, you know? You're doing so well. Oh my goodness, thank you. I'm doing really good. I'm doing really good. Oh my goodness, how nice of you. Thank you so much for the gifted sub to Malay. Oh, enjoy your emotes, Malay. Oh my god, Anton, that is so sweet of you. 